As we stated last night, these terminations were not based on any evidence of kickbacks. I want to make it perfectly clear. While I cannot provide specific details, let me provide you some context as to what the investigation was about. HSI worked as a general contractor and then as a subcontractor at the 200 Wellesley Fire in the aftermath of the fire. Earlier this year, it was brought to my attention that evidence of certain anom an anomalies had been found in the property insurance claim submitted by HSI with respect to the fire. This is not in keeping with the values of our company. I immediately brought this matter to our board with a recommendation to conduct an independent investigation. With the board's approval, we engaged external legal counsel and a forensic investigations firm to investigate these allegations. After months of investigative work, we received an initial report from the investigations on Monday. The report confirmed that there were evidence of wrongdoing by several employees. Based on these findings and after, and after seeking advice from our experts, I made the decisions that we announced yesterday. I have also handled over the findings to the Toronto Police today to determine whether there are any matters worthy of further investigation. Legal matters pertaining to this investigation remain ongoing, and so I cannot provide further details at this time. We will release a public summary of findings after all investigations and related legal matters are com completed, excuse me, in keeping with our commitment to transparency and managing risk responsibly. These decisions were not made were not easy to me, especially now when we terminate employees. And I don't take them lightly. But my mandate from the Board of Directors is to improve Toronto community housing performance and restore credibility, integrity with our residents and the public. 